this is gonna be a really short video I'm just gonna explain the modulus operator to you uh, and I didn't wanna like make it too long or stretch it out too much so I'm just gonna create a class called modulus and I'm just gonna show you the basic functions of the modulus operator what it can do what it can't do so let's say we have two numbers int a equals 5 uh, equals 5 and b equals 178 so let's say int c equals a mod um, or rather b mod a system dot out dot print ln c so um, what this is gonna do is basically it's gonna divide 178 by 5 and give you the remainder in an integer form since that's the data type you're using so 178 goes into 5 I think 3 35 times and gives a remainder of 3 if I'm not wrong so this should give us a remainder of 3 and yeah it gives us a remainder of 3 let me show you that again 3 so uh, let's start with some other numbers let's say 99 and B equals 99 and C equals B mod A so oops sorry I use the dollar sign by mistake yeah B mod A modulus is also called mod so 99 divided by 99 what's 99 by 99 1 99 by 99 it's 1 the quotient is 1 and the remainder 0 so it gives you a remainder of 0 so uh, the last thing I'm gonna go over is well another program called factors what this does is it's gonna generate the factors of a number now let's go public void main int i or rather int n sorry about that <laughs> call it num um, yeah int no no need for that let's just start our loop for int i equals 1 i less than equal to num i plus plus now in this program what we're gonna do is we, we wanna generate the factors of a number now the factor of a number I explained in the previous program in the prime number one now I don't know if you guys well got it exactly so I'll explain it again the factor of a number is a number that divides the number and leaves no remainder so it's really simple we're just gonna divide the number by i with all the numbers up till the number and if it leaves no remainder just print i as simple as that and I forgot my braces here yeah so it should generate all the factors so let's say we take a nice a large number let's say 45 so it gives you the factors 1 3 5 9 15 45 45 goes into 45 once 15 goes 3 times 9 goes 5 times 5 goes 9 times 3 goes 15 times and 1 goes 45 times so that's your answer so I hope you guys got this I don't think it was too confusing it's a short video and I think I'm gonna make one more video of for loop programming another program and then we'll get into get into something new